Hey guys, my name is Shazzy Ann and this is Shazzy Act. Shazzy gets sober. I keep on mixing up my own name and I have no idea why, right? But anyways, today we're going to be talking about dormitory, dormitories in Siberia. Three cities, Tomsk, Krasnyas, Irkutsk. I'm living in Tomsk. I am living in Tomsk. I will have lived in <laughs> Krasnyasa. <laughs> I have lived in Krasnyasa. But I haven't lived in Irkutsk. For that, I am introducing you to one of my roommates. Her name is... Nina! She is from... Vietnam. Good. So, we basically came to Russia for the same purpose. We're both studying here. We're both on scholarship. I'm on scholarship from Antigua and Barbuda. And she's on scholarship from... Vietnam, Miss Goldman. Yes. Uh, so, I studied Russian in Krasnoyarsk. And I studied Russian in Irkutsk. Yes. And so, we're going to tell you just a few facts about the dormitories in these cities. Let's start with Tomsk. Tomsk. <laughs> I almost said Krasnyask. <laughs> okay, so uh, we live in what is known as the international dormitory. dormitory. It is called Paris and means so. It has sixteen floors. Yes, the first floor is dedicated to the administrative things. So you can find the director of of the dormitory on that floor. You can also find. The student, the International Student Service Center, on the on that floor. What else can you find on the first floor? So, sports room, mm -hmm. canteen, or washing room. Yeah, and the washing room. And, and the washing room. <clears throat> okay, and on the 16th floor, what do they have on the 16th floor? Do you know? No, no, no. They okay. have a hostel on the 16th floor, which is where you can you can call up and say, Hey, I'm not a student, but I want to stay there. And they ask you for 800 rubles if you want a room with two people. Or for 1,000 rubles if you want a room for one person. <clears throat> the remaining 14 floors are for people like us, students. Okay, so what <clears throat> can you find on the rest of the floors? On each floor there are 30 rooms and in every room there are how many people? Three people. And there are also three beds for these people and three desks for these people and three sets of these things. Bookshelves? Yeah, bookshelves <laughs> for, a, for each person as well. Yeah. There is also one toilet, one bath, one, one bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Oh uh, gosh, I'm getting so complicated, so so confused because like when I'm at home and I say there's one one like bathroom, I think about a toilet and a bathroom together. But since I've been living in in in, in, in Russia, Russia, I've noticed that you know like they, you know they cut off so the the toilet, the septic is in one section, and the shower is in another section. Have you seen that? Yeah, in Vietnam too. Ah, uh, what? Oh gosh. You know, let's focus. <laughs> because that's so interesting. So, like, yeah. So it's a bathroom which has a shower, a toilet, and a face basin. Mm -hmm. We also have the place where we keep our clothing. Yeah, the wardrobe. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, so that's everything that's encompassed in our room. Yeah. Uh, where do we cook? Well. So, on every floor there are three kitchens. So. There are three kitchens, and in every kitchen there are three refrigerators, Stove. and there should be three stoves, and every room is allocated cupboard space. Mm -hmm. One cupboard space for three people. Yeah. Uh, what else? We told you about the bathroom, we told you about the bedroom, we told you about the washing machine, and the sports center. There's also a canteen. Did you say canteen? Yes, she said yes. there's a canteen on the first floor. And additionally, in addition to that, there are two places where you can buy per per products, which are really nearby. The variety isn't that wide, but you can buy a lot of stuff there. How far are they from us? So it takes 10 minutes to, to get it. Yeah, so 10 minutes. Like it. So it's really quick. Yeah. In summer, it's not that quick in winter, but it's cold. Anyway, tell us a little bit about Irkutsk. Like, uh, how many floors did your building have in Irkutsk? So there was four floors. Four floors? Yes. How many people, in, how many people in each room? In each room, just three people. How many people? How many rooms on each floor? Four rooms. Ah, so that's it's small buildings. Yeah, so, small so it's, it's actually yes. a rather small building. How many kitchens on each floor? So just one kitchen. One kitchen for one twelve people. One refrigerator, refrigerator and one stove. Yes. That's cool. Did your stove also have ovens in it? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Good. Yeah, I'm just asking. Uh, so tell us about the rooms. What what did the rooms have in? So, two beds, mm -hmm. two uh, tables, mm -hmm. and uh, just one drawer. 
one but, quadruple. But there are just two sections. Oh, so we have to share. Three, share one, two sections. And yeah, that's What it. about washing machines? Washing machine is located on the first floor. Yeah, yeah it was free. Okay, yeah. that's nice. What about uh, canteen? You said you, had, you guys didn't have a canteen? No, no, no. What about supermarket? Have... How close was it? Supermarket, it takes about 15 minutes to get there. Nice. So, yeah. I think we've covered everything for that. Wait, did you guys have a uh, study room? Yes, we have study room also on the first floor, but yeah. just one. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Yeah, but it's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> In cross the ask. In Krasnyas, where I was studying, uh, the room, it was a big, it was a big space and it was divided into a few sections. You had the bedroom, in the bedroom itself, there were two beds, there were two desks, which I uh, had attached to them like a uh, space, like bookshelf space. Uh, mm -hmm. Then in the, another section was the kitchen where you had a refrigerator, one table, a stove, a washing machine, and a sink, in which you could wash your dishes. In, also, in it, you also had a bathroom. Wait, did I ask you about the bathroom break boots? I didn't ask you about the bathroom break boots. In Krasnoyarsk, there was a bathroom which had a tub. <laughs> a bathroom which had a tub, a shower, a sink, and a toilet. By the way, tell me about, did the bathroom, did the bathroom in... In Yeah, where was it? So, it's only one bathroom on the floor. Mm -hmm. Just one. Did it have a tub? So, we have to share. Did you have a tub? Yes. That's good. <laughs> a tub? Yeah, a tub. We can like. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but on another. Yes, but on another floor. <laughs> wait, what? Yes. Yeah, so wait, wait. We, we, we have a shower. We have. To you have a shower, but then yes. if you wanted to take a take a like a tub? a soak, you had to go to another floor. Yes. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Why? why the Interesting. Floor. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that was that from my... Oh, we also had a room dedicated in Krasnodar's, dedicated mm -hmm. to a war room. And we had a balcony, which was fantastic. Whoa. <sighs> I'm going to just stay here and enjoy that for a second. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So, uh, sports center or gym? There, was, there wasn't a gym in the dormitory itself, but five minutes away was the university's gym, where you could find, like, everything mm -hmm. you want in a gym. Literally. Uh, we did not have a canteen in our building. However, there, like, in, T in Krasnoyarsk, the university I was staying at, is called Siberian Federal University. And it, where I was staying is called the University Village because there, that university has a whole host of dorms around. And mm -hmm. I was living in dorm number 25 and in dorm number 22, which was less than five minutes away. Yeah. There what wait. Okay, let me go back to this. So <laughs> in dorm number like twenty-four, which is less than a minute away from me, there was a there was a supermarket. Mm -hmm. And then in dorm number twenty two, which is about five minutes away from me, there was another supermarket on the floor, first floor, which was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually oh good, you know what? Back to <laughs> focus. It's yeah. Better than here. <laughs> We did not have any study area, however, in Krasnoyarsk, mm -hmm. but I think that's because, like, I'm living in a room with two people, and when you close the door, you lock the sound off from the other areas of the of the dorm. Uh, so, like, I, whenever my roommate came, uh, had her friends over, she would be either in the bedroom or in the kitchen, and she, I would simply close, I would be in the opposite room, and I'd close the door, and then I wouldn't hear, hear what they're saying, and so I could study. So I guess in, in, in things like that, when you're doing stuff like that, you don't really need a common area for people, people to meet up. You don't need a study room. Here in, t in TSU, we have a study room on every floor, but only two of them are open. There is free internet, which is slow, and there is paid internet, which is slow. But if you get the paid one, sometimes it'll be pretty fast. Boom. So, we're going to make a second video, but you have to come back for that. I hope you like this video. Like it and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Share. Share. Yeah, share, share it. it. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah. I hope this has been sobering.